good morning students in uh, last class we have studied uh, that is uh, issues so a group of a similar or dissimilar cells which can be able to perform a specific function we can call them as a tissues so there are uh, a four type of tissues are presenting uh, one is an epithelial tissues second one is uh, the connective tissues and the third one is the muscular tissues and lastly that is a, a nervous a, a tissue so, so these are the four type of uh, the tissues which we have studied uh, in the uh, last uh, classes now we are going into another topic uh, that is called as uh, the animal uh, the human physiology we can call that as uh, the human uh, physiology so now coming to the a human physiology here we have to know what is a physiology here physio means the functional logic means studying so here the it is a branch of a biology which deals with the study of organs and their functions the study of organs functions and their disorders of these organs Uh, present in an organism so this process uh, we can called as a uh, physiology so here uh, we'll having uh, the physio means a uh, functioning functioning of organs the functioning of uh, organs so here uh, the functioning of organs in an organism that logy logy means uh, study so here uh, what we are able to studying means uh, the study of uh, the functioning of organs uh, in an uh, organism so this process uh, we can called as uh, the physiology that is uh, the functioning uh, studying of uh, the studying of the studying of uh, the studying of the functioning of organs the functioning of uh, functioning of organs functioning of organs and their dis- and their function functioning of organs sorry functioning of uh, the organs the structure and functioning studying about functioning of an organs and structures and also the structures and uh, their and uh, their and uh, their disorders disorders so such branch of biology that is it is a branch of a biology which deals with the studying of the functioning various functioning of our structure the functioning of organs and their disorders then this branch we can call as a an a physiology so we are related with the humans so we can call this as a, a human a physiology here basically the physiology is classified into a uh, two types one is a plant physiology and second one is an animal a physiology so here the functioning of organs in the plants is related with plants we can call as a plant physiology and if they are related with organs uh, studying of their uh, or in animals uh, then we can call that as an animal a physiology so now we are going going to discussing only that is uh, an animal physiology that is in a human a physiology we are studying about so we can call this as a, a, the stu- studying of uh, the functioning of the structure and functioning of uh, various organs present in organisms and their uh, disorders uh, then this process uh, this branch we can call as a, a physiology so in this uh, first uh, we'll discuss about uh, that is uh, a digestive system in this uh, we'll discuss uh, the first topic is uh, the a digestive a digestive system digestive system second one is uh, the circulatory sorry respiratory system the respiratory uh, system the third one is uh, this the circulatory system circulatory system 
and this is the fourth one is uh, locomotion and moment the locomotion and uh, a moment and the fifth one is uh, the excretory system excretory a system and uh, the sixth one is uh, the sixth one is uh, the uh, nervous system nervous system and uh, the last one the seventh one is uh, the seventh one is uh, the chemical coordination that is uh, the chemical coordination so here these are the uh, seven topics there they are presenting uh, in the uh, human uh, physiology that will having uh, the seven topics one is the respiratory digestive system the respiratory system circulatory system locomotion and movement and also the excretory system the nervous system as well as uh, the chemical coordination here chemical coordination means uh, we can call them as uh, the hormones so these are the uh, seven uh, topics uh, which are included in the uh, human uh, physiology then now we are going uh, studying uh, first topic uh, that is uh, the uh, digestive uh, system now we'll discuss about uh, the uh, digestive uh, system will be uh, discussed now coming to the uh, first one that is uh, the a digestive a system a digestive a system so here in the a digestive system here we know that first we have to know about the a food what is a food what is a food so here it is a basic unit for the that means here it is a food is a basic unit for the a living organism that means without food the organisms cannot able to a survival so here compulsory the organism should have the essential food materials so here it is a basic need for uh, for all a living uh, an organism so here food is uh, a basic uh, a need it is uh, a basic need for uh, all a uh, living organisms for all a uh, uh, living organism uh, it is an uh, a basic uh, a need so without uh, the food the organisms uh, cannot able to a uh, survival so here uh, every organism should have the essential the food materials are required then only these are helpful for the the food will provides uh, the uh, for the food that means food will provides for the organism for their growth and uh, development and also for their uh, repairing will be taken place that is due to the presence of uh, that is the taking of a uh, food materials uh, into the uh, body already we know that uh, here uh, the humans are uh, the heterotrophic uh, and organisms here uh, the humans are uh, and uh, a hetero here uh, we can call them as uh, the heterotrophic uh, and organisms here humans are uh, the heterotrophic heterotrophic means having uh, a different type of a mode of a nutrition are taken a place uh, so here will having uh, a different mode of a nutrition are taken place uh, that we can call as uh, heterotrophic hetero means a different uh, trophic means nutrition so will having uh, a different uh, mode of a nutrition will be uh, taken a place uh, in this uh, an organisms that is in humans uh, will having uh, the various mode of uh, a nutrition why means they cannot prepare their own uh, a food materials but they have to depending on other organisms as the a food a materials so here we cannot have that means in humans 
here it is not having a chlorophyll pigments are not be presenting uh, they are absenting due to the absence of the chlorophyll uh, we cannot able prepare their own our own food materials we cannot prepared uh, so that is called as uh, an heterotrophic uh, and nutrition here uh, that means you may get uh, the doubt sir we are preparing our own food materials only no that is we are uh, taking or preparing our food materials only but that are not produced from the nature that is from the plants and animals we are getting uh, and we are uh, taking that food materials so here uh, plants by the chlorophyll uh, how the plants prepare their own food materials with the help of chlorophyll uh, likewise uh, we are also not able to prepare why means in our body here uh, a chlorophyll pigments are absenting uh, due to the absence of the chlorophyll pigments uh, we are not able to prepare our own a uh, food uh, materials so here food is very an essential so what is a food means uh, here it can be defined as uh, it is a mixture of organic as well as uh, an inorganic uh, substances so here what is a food means uh, a mixture of uh, a mixture a mixture of uh, a mixture of organic and uh, and inorganic substances it is a, a mixture of organic and inorganic uh, uh, substances uh, then we can call this as uh, an uh, a food materials uh, where the organic uh, that means food will provides energy the organic food materials will helpful for the uh, growth and development and also it helpful for the providing of uh, the repairing that means here uh, the organic substances the organic substances uh, the organic uh, substances uh, will provide uh, will uh, provide will provide uh, the growth and development the growth and uh, a development uh, will helpful for the uh, growth and development and also for the for the repair repair means if any body parts is lost that body parts will be replaced with the help of these and organic substances that means what is the food we are at again place we are able to get the energy from the food here from the effort we are able to get the energy for what we are getting energy means for doing of a various a metabolical and activities that means why should we have to need energy means we have to do our metabolical daily a metabolical activities how should be done means here we have to required the energy without energy without energy we cannot able to do any an activities uh, that is mainly taken place uh, in the presence of uh, an energy only that means from the what is the food we are taken place we are get uh, that food materials uh, are oxidized that is uh, oxidized and that getting the food materials from the organic uh, substances uh, will provide these organic substances will provide the growth and uh, a development for the body and also these are helpful for the uh, repairing repairing means if any damaged cells if any cells are damaged uh, that are replaced uh, that uh, that plus the cells are replaced and young cells are produced so that uh, that will be the gain so here if any body parts for example if any injury is uh, taken place in our body that means uh, that will be wound will be formed that wound will mean old uh, old cells which are presenting they are replaced and they are developed by the and uh, new cells are by undergoing a repeated mitotic uh, divisions uh, that uh, old cells are replaced and young cells are uh, produced and helpful for uh, the repairing the a uh, body that will be taken place uh, with the help of a uh, uh, food uh, a materials where your food is we can call as uh, the organic it is a mixture of uh, the organic and uh, an inorganic uh, uh, substances and uh, here uh, what is the food it is a uh, taken place uh, here uh, that uh, food will be which is in the form of a uh, uh, bio macro molecules that will be in the form of uh, the bio uh, macro molecules micro 
molecules uh, and also here along with the bio macro molecules uh, we have to required that means in the food uh, it requires uh, the organic and inorganic uh, as well as the carbohydrates the proteins the lipids as well as uh, vitamins and minerals here minerals uh, we can call them as uh, an inorganic uh, substances so here uh, organic and inorganic should be presenting along with these carbohydrates uh, proteins and uh, lipids and also it requires uh, the water also here uh, it requires uh, the water so here uh, the water is also a very essential it is a uh, and very an essential very important it is very very essential element it is an a very essential element why means here without water here we cannot able to a survival why means here water is helpful for the dehydration of the dehydration of uh, organisms that means if water is uh, presenting uh, it helpful for the digestion and also here the cells cannot able to undergo uh, a dehydration dehydration means losing of water is uh, taken place means uh, when losing of water is uh, taken place here uh, due to the water uh, here what happens uh, here water is not be presenting here it may taken place uh, the dehydration dehydration of what dehydration so if a dehydration is a taken place that means a losing of water is a taken place in our body what happens uh, here we cannot able to survival that means the cells gradually will shrink uh, and becomes to the uh, death so that if water is a uh, presenting uh, here the cells will becomes in a turgid in condition uh, so that when the cells are in a turgid uh, it helpful for uh, the active in a, a conditions uh, where they takes the food materials uh, so and uh, that food will be oxidized the food will be a uh, breaking down in the presence of water also why means here uh, there are uh, a several enzymes are presenting in our body there are uh, an enzymes in our body we having uh, the enzymes are presenting so here enzymes are uh, presenting that enzymes will activated enzymes which are present in our body that enzymes which are presenting that are activated in the presence of the water only in the presence of the water only if water is not presenting they are not activated so that the substances cannot able to the compounds are the compounds which are presenting they are not converted into a substances so here the hydration that means the food is not converted from macromolecules to the a micro molecules so here the food which is presenting that is in the form of a bio macro a molecules bio means living macro molecule the molecules that means the large particles which are present in our body which are present in our living organisms then we can call them as bio macro molecules bio means living macro means large molecules so here large molecules like uh, that is in the form of uh, an uh, organic uh, substances these are present uh, in the form of an organic uh, substances like carbohydrates uh, proteins as well as uh, the uh, fats so these are the in the form of uh, a macro molecules these macro molecules are broken down in the presence of water so that here in the presence of water they are broken down and converts into a simplest form of a living organism that means these are converted into a simple and uh, organic that is a simple uh, a substance the macro molecules are converted into a micro a bio micro molecules that means here by by micro molecules means these are broken down into a simplest form of the molecules like uh, the carbohydrates are converted into a glucose and uh, proteins are converted into amino acids and uh, fats are converted into a uh, fatty acids these are uh, converted in the form of that means here uh, the converted that means macro molecules are converted into a uh, micro molecules these are converted that means macro molecules are converted into a micro micro molecules so that micro molecules which are present in our body that is we can call as carbohydrates carbo hydrates are converted into a glucose the proteins proteins are converted into 
and amino acids amino acids and uh, the fats fats are converted into the fatty acids are are a uh, glycerol or we can call them as a uh, glycerol where these are the uh, simplest form of uh, the uh, molecules uh, which are uh, taken place when the food materials are uh, and oxidizes uh, so here uh, the digestion that means here uh, the digestion how the digestion will be taken place means uh, here uh, we can take in place digestion the definition of digestion means uh, here uh, the conversion of uh, uh, bio macro molecules are converted into a uh, micro uh, molecules these are converted into a uh, bio macro molecules are converted into a uh, micro uh, molecules micro molecules they are broken down into simplest form of uh, a living uh, and organisms so, so this process or otherwise in conversion of a uh, uh, large molecules are converted into a uh, simple uh, large and uh, non diffusible substances are converted into a uh, simple a uh, diffusible substances uh, so this process uh, we can called as a uh, uh, digestion so here the digestion which is presenting how the digestion is taken place now later we will discuss the definition here the digestion is taken place in our body in the form of a digestive system so this is the diagrammatic representation of the digestive system which is taken place in our body so here what are that now will be a one by one will be a discussed first we will go for the digestion later the parts present in an an digestive system so here in the a digestion so here the food which is taken place in the in the a digestive system the food which is the basic unit is it helpful for maintenance of the a body also and also it helpful for for the reproduction also not only for the growth and development these are helpful for the maintenance of the body as well as it helpful for the reproduction now coming to the a digestion coming to the a digestion so here a digestion means it is a converse it is a, can it can be defined as a, it can be it can be defined as a, it can be defined as uh, the conversion of uh, the a conversion of conversion of a uh, complex food materials complex uh, food materials complex food materials into food materials into a simple into a simple a uh, diffusible a uh, diffusible a uh, substances uh, a diffusible uh, a substances uh, then this process uh, we can call as uh, an uh, a digestion that means the, how where it is taken place means uh, the conversion of complex food materials into simple diffusible substances which is uh, taken place uh, in an uh, a digestive a system that means inside the digestive system uh, these uh, process are taken place where the food where we are taken place that is organic and uh, it is a combination of organic and uh, an inorganic combination so that organic inorganic vitamins minerals as well as uh, the water uh, which is uh, presenting uh, here uh, it uh, consists of uh, the different type of uh, nutrition that means it is uh, having uh, the six uh, here uh, six elements are presenting uh, so here uh, what are that means uh, here uh, organic carbohydrates a uh, proteins uh, lipids vitamins minerals and uh, the water so all these six essential elements uh, which are presenting uh, so then we can call that as uh, a complete a uh, food materials or we can call that as uh, a balanced a uh, diet if the food uh, consists of these six essential elements uh, such as the uh, carbohydrates a uh, proteins a uh, lipids and also the minerals the vitamins and the water so these all essential six essential elements which are required then only we can say as a, a balanced a diet what are these later we'll discuss detail in the in next classes when going into the topic we'll discuss detail the but here these essential elements which are presenting these are a macromolecules macromolecules means these are large particles 
so these large particles they are not be diffuses they are a non diffusible substances so a macromolecules and a large a large or macro sorry we can use macromolecules are a, a non diffusible substances are converted into a simple a diffusible substance which are enters into the a blood then this process through the digestive system that means yeah, how they are converting means uh, the conversion of macromolecules uh, macro complex food material into a simple diffusible substance in the uh, digestive <coughs> in the uh, digestive system uh, then we can call that as uh, the then we can call that as uh, a digestion or otherwise we can define as uh, it is a, a physiological process where here uh, a macromolecule macro complex or complex macromolecules and uh, a non diffusible substances are uh, converted into a simple a diffusible substance which are enters into the a blood or which are absorbed into the a blood then this process we can called as an a, a diffusion sorry it is we can call that as a, a digestion we can call that as a, a digestion where here it is a, it is a, a physiological process a physiological a process process where the complex macromolecule complex macromolecules complex macro molecules which are non diffusible non diffusible are converted are <coughs> are converted into into a simple simple and diffusible simple and a, a diffusible substances into a simple and a diffusible a substances then it is called as a, a digestion then you can call this as a an a, a digestion where here <coughs> simple we can define as a conversion of the macromolecules complex substance into a simple substances uh, then it is uh, called as uh, an uh, it is called that as uh, a digestion so here uh, a digestion is uh, classified into a uh, two types based on their allocation here uh, the digestion is uh, taken place uh, it is uh, classified into a uh, two types so here uh, based on the allocation based on uh, an uh, allocation that means the digestion is uh, the digestive system or the digestion is uh, classified based on their uh, digestion based on their uh, allocation the digestion is uh, classified into a uh, two types one is called as uh, an intracellular an uh, intracellular digestion it is uh, an intracellular uh, digestion and the second one is uh, an uh, an extracellular uh, digestion the first one is uh, an intracellular uh, digestion and the second one is uh, an extracellular uh, uh, digestion so here uh, an intracellular in the name only indicating uh, intra means inside cell that means cellular means cell the digestion is a uh, taken place uh, within the a uh, cell then it is uh, called as a uh, an intracellular uh, digestion that is the digestion is uh, taken place within the cell then uh, it is uh, called as uh, an intracellular uh, digestion an extracellular extra means outside if the digestion is uh, taken place outside the cell that is in uh, an elementary canal if it is uh, taken place uh, then uh, such type of digestion is called as uh, an extracellular uh, digestion so here intra means inside extra means outside if the digestion is taken place within the cell we can called as an intracellular digestion example we can taken place in lower organisms like a protozoans and a, a porphyrins 
and extracellular extra elements inside the elementary canal if the digestion is taken place outside the cell outside the cell means in the elementary canal if the digestion is taken place then it is called as an extracellular digestion here we can take place so this is based on their location based on their location the digestion is classified into two types so one is an intracellular digestion and the second one is an extracellular digestion and also here based on their mode of digestion based on their mode of digestion again the digestion is classified into two types so what are that means first one we can call as a chemical digestion and second one is sorry first one is called as mechanical digestion and the second one is called as the enzymatic digestion or otherwise we can call that as a chemical digestion so what are that now one by one we'll discuss now here already said based on their location intracellular and an extracellular intracellular means within the cell within the cell that is digestion is taken place within the cell an example uh, protozoans example uh, protozoans and a uh, peripherans peripherans so these are the two examples where they are the servants the digestion is taken place within the a cell so and we can call it as an intracellular digestion it is outside the cell outside the cell that is in elementary canal in the an elementary canal if the digestion is taken place and outside the cell that is in elementary canal then we can call it as an extracellular digestion and also here based on the mode of uh, nutrition these are classified into a two types one is a mechanical digestion that means digestion is a taken place uh, digestion digestion is a taken place taken place by the by mastication of mastication of food mastication of food with jaws with a, a jaws and rolling of tongue rolling of tongue and comma churning and churning and purning p o u r m i n g purning moments of purning moment for churning and purning moments and the a peristaltic peristaltic a moments it is a peristaltic moment that means the digestion of the a food materials the a digestion of a food materials is a taken place in the presence of that is a mastication of a food materials by the jaws that means by mixing of food materials with the jaws that is the teeth and rolling of mixing of food materials with a tongue and also the churning and purning churning and purning means uh, here uh, the converting of uh, the curd into a buttermilk uh, you will instrument by using that means the movement which is uh, turn uh, the right and left sides so such type of movements we can call as uh, the a churning and uh, a purning movement and also a peristaltic movement a peristaltic means it is uh, a wave like movements uh, which are presenting in the stomach uh, so with the help of these movements that is churning mastication of food material rolling of the tongue uh, churning and purning and uh, and a peristaltic movement here uh, the digestion of food material is uh, taken place with the help of mechanical uh, mechanically it is uh, the digestion is uh, converting uh, with the help of uh, tongue uh, teeth and also stomach and a uh, peristaltic moments uh, so this type of digestion is called as uh, the mechanical uh, digestion and uh, the second one is uh, the chemical or uh, enzymatic uh, reaction that means digestion is uh, taken place uh, digestion is a uh, taken place taken uh, place in the presence of in the presence of enzymes 
in the presence of uh, enzymes the digestion is uh, taken place uh, then we can call that as a chemical uh, a digestion that means uh, here chemical substances are produced or chemical juices are secreted uh, with the help of these with the help of an enzymes uh, here uh, the digestion of food materials are taken place uh, then this type of food material digestion is called as a chemical or uh, enzymatic hydrolysis that means in the presence of water uh, enzymatic that means in the presence of uh, water uh, the enzymes are activated and they convert the enzymes will convert uh, the substances that means substrate into a uh, substances substrates are converted into a uh, substances in the presence of uh, the enzymatic that is in the presence of water in the presence of enzyme in the presence of water also that means here without water here the enzymes are not be activated so in the presence of water the enzymes are converted into the uh, substrates are converted into uh, substances so we can call that as enzymatic hydrolysis hydrolysis means in the presence of water they are breaking down that means in the presence of an enzymes they breaks the substance the substrates are converted into a substances so such so as process we can call as an enzymatic hydrolysis hydrolysis is breaking down here the enzymes are breaking down in the presence of water where the substrates are converted into a substances then this process we can call as an enzymatic and hydrolysis and now coming to the <coughs> and an elementary canal the different parts which are present in the a digestive system so here uh, coming to the different parts which are present in the a digestive a system now we have study first about we have to study we have studied about digestion the types of digestions and also now we are going about uh, the different parts present in an an elementary canal or uh, the digestive a system so if you see in the diagrammatic uh, here this is uh, the diagrammatic representation of uh, an uh, elementary canal <coughs> it is an uh, an uh, elementary a uh, canal elementary canal so here uh, elementary canal will starts with uh, the mouth <coughs> here it starts with uh, a mouth and ends with uh, an anus so here these are the uh, two openings one opening is here will having two openings one is a, a mouth and another one own an anus so we can call them as a, a complete digestive system is a presenting in humans will having a, a complete a digestive a system is a presenting where here food is a taken place with the help of one opening and the eliminatory the elimination of or exit of the waste materials through another opening so it is called as a complete a digestive a system so here ingestion of food materials are taken place with the mouth and ingestion of ingestion means elimination of waste materials are taken place with the an anus so here we'll having a different parts are presenting the first part we can called as a mouth next it leads to the a buccal cavity and here it is connected with the a nasal cavity also it is connected with the a nasal cavity why means here uh, nose the pharynx here a nose and pharynx are pharynx is a common passage for food and uh, an air so here will having both uh, openings that is nasal cavity this is uh, that is the uh, left side is uh, presenting nasal cavity and right side is uh, presenting uh, the elementary a canal so here we'll having the buccal cavity or otherwise you can call that as uh, the oral cavity then it leads to the uh, pharynx pharynx it leads to the next region we can call as uh, the esophagus from esophagus it enters into the uh, stomach uh, a j shaped structure is j shaped a muscular a pouch like structure which is presenting we can call that as a stomach then stomach will leads to the and a small intestine and it consists of the a large and intestine here large intestine is differentiated into a three regions one is the cecum a colon and a rectum the large intestine is differentiated into a three region that is the cecum a colon and uh, this region we can call as uh, the rectum we can call this as a, a rectum so here colon is differentiated into an ascending colon and second one is the transverse colon 
and the third one is uh, a descending uh, a colon and also in between the stomach and the small intestine will having uh, a c shaped structure that is called as a duodenum in the duodenum will having the a gland that is called as a, a pancreas is presenting opposite to the pancreas uh, will having another gland is presenting that gland we can call as a, a liver where inside the liver will having a, a gall bladder is presenting where here in the gall bladder a temporary storage of a, a bile juice is secreted that means temporary storaging of a, the bile juice which is secreted liver that will be stored in the a gall a bladder so here and the last rectum here temporarily what is the rectum means it is a temporarily a storage of the waste materials and it is completely filled with the rectum then here expelling of the waste materials by an another opening that opening is called as the anus so these are the different parts which are presenting in the an elementary canal of the human digestive system where here it have starts with mouth and comes and ends with anus where your buccal cavity pharynx esophagus stomach small intestine large intestine and a rectum that the large intestine is differentiated into cecum colon and a rectum again the colon is differentiated into ascending colon a transverse colon and a descending a colon and and last part is anus and also you are having a, a glands are also they are connected in the in the in the buccal cavity that consists of the salivary glands are presenting in the stomach it consists of the gastric glands are presenting and intestinal having intestinal glands are presenting and also in between your stomach and a small intestine will having c shape that is called as duodenum in the duodenum will consist of the a pancreas gland is presenting and another one is opposite to this your will having the liver which is the largest gland present in the in our body that is a liver will secretes bile juice that bile juice is temporarily storaged in the a gall a bladder so here the elementary that means here it starts with mouth and consist of anus different parts are presenting and here will consist of here we study the two two parts one is elementary canal and second one is the digestive glands here elementary canal will having we have studied different parts are presenting in digestive gland there are five a digestive glands one is a salivary glands a gastric glands intestinal glands the pancreas and the liver so these are the a five glands where they are presenting so here now in the a next class in the a next class we will discuss uh, the first we will go for about uh, the different regions present in the an elementary canal and later uh, we will study about uh, the different parts present uh, in and sorry different parts present in a elementary canal or the digestive system from where from mouth to the and anus we will discuss one by one region detailedly and later uh, we will study about uh, the digestive uh, glands and lastly we will discuss uh, how the digestion is uh, taken place that is the uh, carbohydrates uh, proteins and uh, lipids uh, that will be discussed uh, the totally we are discussed in the uh, next a uh, uh, class detail we will discuss first we will go for uh, different parts in uh, digestive system later uh, we will discuss about uh, the uh, digestive uh, glands okay so in next class we will discuss uh, first we will discuss the different regions present in an elementary a canal or digestive system okay thank you